hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy kindly subscribe my channel if you want to have such more problems now i am going to solve this particular problem in this problem it is said that a rocker arm with rollers at a and b is shown in the position when the wall is open and the wall spring is fully compressed in this position the spring is the spring force is 900 newton right so the spring is fully compressed so this spring will apply 900 newton force at this uh, roller uh, at point A, right? So let me represent that force. So this spring will apply the force in this direction, right? And this force, the line of action of this force will be making 10 degree angle with the vertical, right? So let's say that this is that uh, force which is acting at this point A, right? And uh, it is further said that determine the force which the rocker arm exerts on the crankshaft C. Also calculate the magnitude of the force supported by the rocker arm shaft O, right? So it is said that determine the force which this rocker arm will apply on the cam shaft at uh, this point C, right? So this rocker arm will apply the force in this direction, right? And as a reaction, this rocker arm will apply the force on this uh, this cam shaft will apply the force on this rocker arm in the opposite direction like this, right? So it will be vertically upward. So since we are considering this uh, rocker arm for equilibrium, so then we will consider the forces that are acting on this rocker arm, right? So this cam shaft will apply the force on this rocker arm in this direction, that is in the upward direction. So we are required to find this force, right? So let's say that this force is equal to R, right? And further it is said that also calculate the magnitude of the force supported by the rocker arm shaft O. So we are required to find the reactions at O right the total reaction at all so let's say that uh, there is a reaction force which is acting in the x direction so let's say that this is ox let's say this is ox and let's say here is a oy force which is acting uh, vertically upward right so now uh, let me draw the free body diagram right so this will be our free body diagram like this this force is a uh, 900 newton this is the spring force this is given right this is that point a here we have that point b right so now to find this r what we will do is that we will apply the summation of moment about point o equals to zero here we have that point o right so now for that i will resolve this 900 newton force into its components right so it is making a 10 degree with the vertical so it will have one come which will be acting like this right uh, here we have the 10 degree so this is the cos component this is 900 cos of 10 degrees similarly this 900 newton force will have one component will be acting in this direction right that is in the uh, negative x direction right if this is my positive x and y direction so this component is the sine component so we can write that this is 900 sine of 10 degrees right so now if we apply the summation of moment about point o equals to zero and if the counterclockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this r is producing counterclockwise moment about that point o so i will write r and the perpendicular distance of this r from that point o is this uh, 330 uh, mm distance right so this distance is 30 mm so i will multiply this with 30 Similarly, this cos component is producing the clockwise moment about that point O, so I will write minus 900 cos of 10 degrees. And the perpendicular distance uh, between this 900 cos of 10 and that point O is how much? So this is 48 mm, right? This distance is 48 mm, right? This distance. This is given, this is 48. So I will multiply this with 48, right? So this is 48. And similarly, this component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point O. So I will write plus, and this is 900 sine of 10. And the perpendicular uh, distance or the moment arm for this uh, 900 sine of 10 is how much? So this is 7 mm. And the perpendicular distance between this component and that point O is given. This is 7 mm. So I will multiply this with 7, and this will be equal to 0, right? So from this, if we bring these two terms to the other side of equation, so their the sign will become opposite, right? So this will become negative. And if we divide both sides of equation by 30, so we will get that R force. So 
So this is equal to 1381.66. Right? So I will write it. This is 1381.66 newtons. Right. So this much force will be applied by this came shaft on the rocker arm and as a reaction uh, this rocker arm will apply the same for uh, force on this came shaft but in the opposite direction right now uh, since we want to find ox and oy so again if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero right so now as we can see that this ox is acting in the positive x direction and this sine component is acting in the negative direction so i will write minus 900 sine of 10 this will be equal to 0. So this means that OX is equal to 900 sine of 10 degrees, right? So I will write it like this, right? So OX is 900 sine of 10 degrees. So this is 156.28. So OX is 156.28 newtons. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0, so this OY is acting in the positive Y direction. This cos component is acting in the positive Y direction. So I will write plus 900 cos of 10 degrees. And this R is acting in the positive Y direction. So I will write plus R and R magnitude is this, right? So this is 1381.66. And this will be equal to 0. So from this we can write that OY is equal to minus and this will become minus as well, right? So OY equals to minus 2267.98. So we can write that this is minus 2268 approximately. Minus 2268 newtons. So the negative sign means that the assumed direction of OY is not accurate. It is acting in the downward direction, right? So this is that OY. So the total uh, support or the total magnitude of the force supported by the rocker arm at shaft O is let's say the resultant of both of these is let's say O. So we want to find this O. So to find this O we can write that this O, this total support or this total reaction at point O will be equal to OX square plus OY square and then we will take the square root, right? So then we can write that uh, OX is 156.28 squared and OY is 2268 squared. So this is the total uh, sub, uh, force that uh, the shaft is supporting, right? So this is equal to 2273. So O is equal to 2273 newtons. So this is the solution of this particular problem.